Hello traders and welcome to Stock Goodies Chart School. The percentage price oscillator or PPO is a momentum oscillator that measures the difference between two moving averages as a percentage of the larger moving average. As with its cousin the MACD, the PPO is shown with a signal line, a histogram, and a center line. Signals are generated with signal line crossovers, center line crossovers, and bullish or bearish divergences. Now let's go ahead and load up the PPO on this stock chart of Yahoo here at StockCharts.com. If you scroll down to the bottom of the chart attributes area, click on the indicators box scroll down to the P's and pick percentage price oscillator PPO the standard settings are 12 26 which are the two exponential moving averages it uses and the signal line is set at a period of 9 so while we're at it let's go ahead and load up two exponential moving averages at the 12 and 26 period so that you can get an idea of how they relate to the readings on the actual PPO. Go ahead and click update and you have the blue 12 EMA, the 26 red EMA and the PPO which looks exactly like the MACD but the only difference is it gives the reading in a percentage Let's go ahead and load up the MACD real quickly to show you that the difference right here is the PPO is showing 2.3%. The MACD is showing 0.626 as a reading for the MACD. Okay, so I'll explain why one is better than the other here in a moment. There are two major differences between the PPO and the MACD. The first one is the PPO readings are not subject to the price level of the security like the MACD is. Secondly, PPO readings for different securities can be compared even when there are large differences in the price. Now let's take a look at what makes up the PPO. Very similar to the MACD, it has a zero line that is very important for the histogram to cross up and down through. It's also looking for signals when the PPO crosses down through zero and becomes negative. That happens when the 12 EMA crosses down through the 26 EMA. And then you're also looking for histogram crossovers from negative below zero and then the blue bars show up above zero which is bullish. Okay? And at the same time you're looking for other signals like the PPO to cross up through the signal line as the histogram crosses up through zero. And again that happens when the 12 EMA crosses up through the 26 EMA. Now let's take a look at some of the signals the PPO has given this chart on ASCC. First thing I see is a bearish crossover right here where the 12 EMA crossed down through the 26 EMA and as you can see the PPO crosses down through zero right there and the stock takes a pretty serious fall. This is where it turns around at first the first buy signal comes right here because the PPO is below the red signal line and then crosses up through it. At the same time, the histogram, the bars of, in blue down here are below zero and it crosses up through it and takes off. And the stock runs from about 20 cents to about $1.20 on that one signal alone. Let's look at the next buy signal. It came right here. When the PPO crossed up through the signal line and started spreading out, the histogram 
gave early warning because even though the stock was trading sideways to down, the histogram, the blue bars were up ticking towards the zero line. And when it popped up above the zero line, that's where the PPO signal line crossover happened and the stock ran. Okay, here's another buy signal right about here. First of all, the histogram comes down and tags the zero line but bounces. That's a beautiful kiss up off the zero line. And right here, the PPO starts spreading out widely above the signal line because the moving averages are spreading out. So that was another buy signal and the stock ran pretty good. Now let's look at a couple of these sell signals here. Okay, I see one right about in here. Okay, but the first one came right here. Okay, this is where the PPO crossed down through the red signal line. And at the same time, the histogram, these blue bars cross down through zero to become negative and the stock falls. Okay, the actual crossover of the PPO down through zero does not come until the 12 EMA crosses down through the 26. But I would have sold on this particular crossover, not waiting for the PPO to cross down through zero. Here's another sell signal right here. The PPO is above the signal line and crosses down through it. And at the same time, the histogram crosses down through zero from positive into negative territory below zero. So as you can see, these signals work really well. And again, the PPO crossing down through zero came late. It would have been much better to sell on this first crossover than wait for the PPO to cross down through zero. Okay, now let's take a look at this beautiful setup here on UNIS. Okay, now as the stock was falling here, draw a trend line through these two highs. That brings you to right about here. The stock right here broke above it on super huge volume. That could have been a, a good earnings report or a good press release. But look at the PPO way down below the zero line. Then all of a sudden volume comes in. That would have shown up on some radars right there. Okay. Then the PPO crosses immediately up through the zero line. The histogram, the blue bars, Kind of hard to see here, but they are below zero, just barely. And then it, they pop up through the zero line and just go huge. Okay, so right here, this is a double crossover where the PPO crosses up through the signal line, up through the zero line, and then the double part comes here when the histogram pops up through zero into positive territory, and it's just huge. Now let's take a look at the sell signal on this one. You remember to lock in profits. Okay, the first one comes right here. Right about here when the PPO is above the signal line and crosses down through it. At the same time, the histogram gave early warning. These blue bars were down ticking while the stock was going up. That is a bearish divergence. That was warning. More warning right here with all of these tall upper wicks on these candles. I count three of them. Okay. And that is always a bad sign at a top when you see lots of candlesticks with tall upper wicks. Okay. And immediately the PPO crosses down through the signal line. The histogram crosses down through zero into negative territory. Okay, then we get a little bit of a, a buy signal right here for a time. And the stock does go up. Okay, the PPO drops below zero, crosses back up through it. And that gave us that little pop right there. But then we got another negative crossover right here. When the 12 EMA crossed down through the 26 EMA and the PPO dropped below zero.